broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. He's just trying to protect you guys. But this has been going on, this episode's been going on for a, a, a while now. It's been about two hours now. about to be three hours. It's a pretty long episode, bro. I've only got like what four dollars. How will I be able to buy them again? How will I be able to buy Grandpa and Grandma a gift if I only got? Okay, $4. buddy, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey. You guys go ahead, and we'll come back to meet you. Okay. Brothers meeting. Sure. But Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Protect the secret. Listen, you don't, you don't have to stop, I understand, stop him. but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it, but I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right, I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Yeah, you don't have to stop lying to him. It's fine, because... If you keep lying to him, eventually he's gonna figure out the wow. trees. It's, you can keep lying so to him. Many trees. Protect your secret. Okay, I think I know where we can go uh, buy a gift. You come and shop. Don't worry. I'll be around. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. <laughs> but we never surrendered. Oh, that's the tree stuff. That's not the place I that's not the place I go to okay, get stuff. Okay, just yeah, it's take the here. one you like and like, come get the place me. I go to get stuff. Deal. Deal. Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet we'll the morning. Tin, the one we want. Tell me if you need anything. These prices. Sure. I'm fine for Four dollars. That's actually pretty accurate. I can actually work with this. <sighs> what the freak? Prices. Nah, back up. Back. I think it was the part. I think I know where I spent my money at. 
I think it was the part where I spent my money building. I mean, where I spent my money playing that game. If I didn't spend my money playing that game, I probably would still have so much. Okay, this is one thing I think you do with part of the story. This is one thing I think is part of the story. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my doom. No, 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 hold on a minute. No, I'm good, Be copyright, no. Copyright, no, I'm good. Copyright, I am good. We only sell handmade local products. Okay, okay better find a gift for Daniel quick. I While he's still busy with Chris. You can't, you don't have money. It's been rough, but it helps. Ain't enough money anyway. Hey. Don't worry. Where's Daniel? Our friends are four, right? Right. Good shape, pretty a lot. thick. Ooh, Still. I know. I know. This one's all dry. How's Chris? Strong. And he chased us back to where. Bro, look. I can't. That's little that has to be copyright. Okay, you, I'm gonna I'm talk over I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to talk over her. Just, I'm She look looks so and, out of place and I'm, here And I'm, I'm gonna Cool move, right? If there's nothing I can do I'm gonna move Okay, yeah, just go Get out of here Go, go That's copyright Move I can still hear her, bro Ooh, Christmas card The best Christmas wreaths are here Decorate your front doors With something truly special Prices. Where they do ten dollars, bro? That's what these prices, bro. Whoa. The guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. Yeah, I gotta get away from her. That's, bro, that's literally killing me. Ooh, this one is cool. I agree. Adding it to the top three list. Mm-hmm. Not that many blue spruces left. Hey. Hey, Sean. What's up? Just wanted to thank you for bringing us out here. Hey, no problem. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. It's kind of a tiny place. It's perfect. Don't worry. Good luck with that tree. <laughs> yeah, I sure need it. It's not an easy task with this guy. Come get me when you're done. I will. I spent my money on that game, guys. I shouldn't have done that. Many blue spruces left. I really shouldn't have done that because I just spent the cactus. The snactus. <laughs> if I have enough cash left, I I could get a gift for Claire and Steven. But I'm not giving her money. Look at that. Hey. Pause, man, bro. I barely have money. Well, finally. Someone who dares speaking with me. Hope you're vaccinated. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just... Here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Wicked. Man. That sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. 
stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of the air? <laughs> oh, the pros join forces. You're already perverting him, Finn. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? <laughs> hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, kids. Goodbye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. She has a cool voice. I like it. See you around. Whoever God, voice is so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Mm, Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. No, no, we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. Exactly. See? And then we They're stay pretty. Alive. See, if he's got a problem with people, he's got a problem with people. That's cool with me. But we don't, we don't have to be the ones that get ourselves in trouble. <gasps> I won't. So cool. How do I look, Sean? <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. Your loss. Why can't we go back? Where are we going? Dude, where are we going? So somehow he can leave, but I can't. Wait, what? Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While well, he's still busy with Chris. Did you see that? I'm fucking believable. Yeah, always the same thing with these people. I wasn't such a jerk teenager. Was I? That's way too expensive. Is 
that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Bet he loved this. What are the chances I can get away with that, though? Yes, sure it is. I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it, too. Right? I could have just bought... I could have bought something, but... Look, I got away with it, alright? As long as I don't get caught with it, I'm fine. And look, they're already back to the truck. I'm fine. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. When I look at you and Daniel, how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grand.
friends sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah, they have their problems too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. Sorry for the loud noises. I was eating an apple. I get hungry too. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <laughs> yeah. I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Okay, just saying, just, just one question. I'm just gonna clean up real quick. What are the chances it's inside this vase? Yep, it's empty. All right, just saying. What about their bedroom? If I remember, Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Small key. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. Gross, definitely. But still, no key here. All right, night. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Yeah, not much to see in here. I'm not gonna let him blow that lock open. Oh, my God. He might come back any minute. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna let him blow the thing. Shit. These are Christmas presents? <sighs> Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Okay, I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is. Stop it. Stop it. I know where it is. Just give me a minute. I think. I gotta find a way to open that door. Or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. Drawer. Yes! I'm telling you, it's in this room. It has to. Yeah, no. 
No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Sean, I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. It looked like... Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can't. No. Oh, it's up here. All right, so I was right. It's... What are the chances it's actually still in here? What are the chances it's in here? Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. But it's in here somewhere. I'm not just gonna let him, like, do that to the door. I'm not. I'm not just gonna let him, like, break the door down. That's not... Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Uh, she keeps okay, telling. Daniel. Uh, think hard. What was she wearing? Uh, I think it was that weird uh, sweater thing. Dude, you rock. somewhere why'd you search in I was like why, why was I in there or box I think I may have found it cuz like I'm not trying to let him break that door down cuz if he breaks the door then they're gonna figure out that we were in there he has to be here somewhere flashlight uniform to be here come on where is this card again what? no way she wore it to church oh wait you looking for her clothes oh dude bro I got you we're just in here clothes old stuff nothing Wait, said she was wearing a what? Okay, so he's not gonna break that door down until I find it. I mean, until I tell him to. Okay, so it's up here then. It has to be up here. It's not in our room, so it has to be the bathroom or here. It has to be in one of these rooms. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. He's gonna, he's gonna break the door down. I know. If I don't tell him to, he's probably just gonna. <sighs> Come do on, little key. Sleeping pills, keychains. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Sleeping pills. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. Bible. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. I actually didn't think about it. I didn't search anything in his. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. Yeah, not much. This whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Search, yes, come on, man. It has to be. Yes. But you found it. Bro, we don't have to break the door down. Daniel, move! I found one key, so. It better fit. Just try it.
There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Clarence Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Let's look at some of them. They want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. Don't open, don't push the CD player, don't start that, please. Clip skates, or eclipse glasses. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Clarence Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Thank you so much for your letter. I thought you might have forgotten your pen pal. You might have forgot your pen pal. It's so boring out here. And your letters are the best thing ever. You were saying you get very lonely, too, sometimes up there in Beaver Creek. So I'm glad we found each other. It is not, I mean, it is funny, not that I have this big family, but I'm so jealous of you for being an only child. You get the whole house to yourself like a queen. I told you before how stupid my brother Keith Keaton is such an immature boy, even though he's the oldest of all my siblings. I think he's so cool now, but so cool now just because he has a driver's license. Whatever. Just wait till we can drive, then we... Then we can finally visit each other. I hear my dad yelling about something, so I gotta bail before he gets to me. Please write back soon. I'll write as soon as you do. Your only friend, your only favorite pen pal, Emma. Bro, give me that poem, bro. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. I hear the green tr choir slinging in the forest in the Asian gray, wrapping me in their wood spells, their song. The roots like fuses that explode in reverse. When I hide in my heart hearing the sound, hearing that sound, that makes me feel older than the forest, colder than you, but younger than the crying river at my feet. If I slide, slid into the soil, would, would the voices muffle? Like my, fa like my face in the pillow so nobody knows I'm there? I could sneak in through the wormholes, that, but that would only lead down. So over the treetops, over the river, I feel myself leaving forever. I'm a Is that an amethyst? She was into New Age bullshit. These pictures are so... random. They looked happy. They did. How could she send all of this to hell? How would they remove all the pictures? Where is he? They want to forget anything related to Karen. I can relate, because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing, too. I've never seen any picture of Mom in our home. It's like she almost never used those. Hmm. So that's I how think I remember that so one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. Hey, Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. Can we leave now? Like, he really just said the parents... Hi, are Ulysses. Here. Are you really sad? You said the parent would be here any minute, bro. So why are we st still trying to... Are we still here, bro? Because <laughs> the... No phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took good care of you. Check it, yeah, let's just see what stuff she had in here. I think I saw a moon eclipse once, before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. When she went on trips? I wonder my mom. I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. We should have called her. We should have. Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was. Walking my way down to Mexico. 
Where are they? Hmm. Seattle? Walking all the way Karen from Seattle to Mexico. Karen likes to take pictures Mexico. of strangers like when we walk down this. the streets. Uh, that's like at least 300 miles away. Three. In a car, that'd be at... Yeah, that's at least 300 miles. That's at least a 300 mile walk. That'd be way further. Not sure played. on what's going on. I think it's not plugged. What is wrong with this? Oh, hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. So, Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? Small town blues. Can we leave now? This playlist is boring as hell. I bet three C's in there, bro. Books. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the tenth grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. Easy tips to travel the world before your thirties. So she was. He is right. She was planning to run away when she, even when she was little. She was not like. I don't recognize any of these games. I don't think you're supposed to. I literally look. Oh, there's a letter, but I didn't see that. These letters look pretty recent. I didn't even see that. Hold a minute. <laughs> I actually didn't. Why even would see Claire this lock these up in here? What if they reveal something she doesn't want to? She doesn't want us to know. Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. Good question. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly ransacking our house while we're at church. Daniel insisted. Daniel just wanted to see the room. Yeah, I did. Sean, don't shift the blame to your brother. You're supposed to be the adult. Claire, please calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this have room. The right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Mom's letter. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's 
It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, oh, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Drawer, 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 drawer! This goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Last resort! But listen, listen. Now listen, I did say it was a last resort. Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Look, I did say he was as a last resort. His legs. If we lift it together, oh, his Lord, legs what? will be hurt. What are you doing, Daniel? His legs will be hurt. We have no other choice now. All we can do now is lift it off of him. Okay, you can put it down now! <sighs> oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Yeah. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Thank you, Lord. Exactly. You called the police, didn't you? It's, it's the sheriff. Steven? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. They were spotted at the Christmas market earlier today. Sean! What are we gonna do? Go we hide go. in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. Exactly. Get your stuff. Distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. Bro, just say you're sorry and let us go, bro. I you wish you could that... stay here. Here's the thing, they could bust down that Watch door. Watch out for though. your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Come on, Dan. Wait for me, Sean. Going. See what you did? You should have kept running. 
didn't notice you. Why did you stop was my question. When you saw the car, why didn't you stop? I would have kept running. Look, I would have kept going. He didn't He didn't see you until five seconds later. That's my only problem. He didn't see you until you decide to stop running. If you decide to keep going, he probably wouldn't have even noticed you. It's like you would have been completely fine. Man, Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You, did you saved his life. He exactly, you he thinks I'm a liar now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. Yeah, he'll realize eventually. You guys are the spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? Because it's not something you don't anymore. have to use your power if you don't want to. Exactly. It's called it's called will, free will. But you decide whether you want to use it. I'm or not. good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. Exactly. So no, don't be but afraid of using it. Daniel, you need to be careful and listen to your brother. You think we'll see grandma and grandpa again? Definitely probably won't I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? I should have contacted Lila. See, I probably should have. See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But. She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? Yeah. I don't know. Trust me, man. Trust him. Trust him. Now on, we make our own rules. Yeah, no Look. more rules now. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. Good time to give it For to For real? Him. But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Yeah, I mean, you've got, you've got no way to tell him. You got I me. Mean, you got no way to tell when it's Christmas, actually. Gee, a yo-yo. Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but. We're doing it now, so. Sorry, I didn't mean to push that. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Train. Come on. All aboard. Is this the end of the episode? Should be it right there. And I guess now they're doing what um, Cassidy and um, Finn are doing. Riding the train, like they said. No, that wasn't Finn. I don't think that was Finn, sorry. Doing what Cassie and the other guy are doing. I think his name is Jake? I think. Either way, they're doing what they were doing. Now they're, tr they're train riding.
Okay, I was like, is that the end? That is the end. Alright, guys. So that is the end of it. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment down below what you're going. Oh, wait. Sorry, we gotta check choices. You threw a snowball at Daniel. That was a choice. You let Daniel kill the cougar. Oh, so a lot of people threw a snowball at Daniel. You let Daniel kill the cougar. Yeah, I didn't want to let him do it, but I didn't want to intervene because he might have used it against me. You prayed together with Claire and Daniel. You confessed to Stefan about Daniel's power. You helped with extra chores. You told Daniel he did the right thing when he saved Chris. You didn't use Stefan's laptop to log into your profile. You didn't use the phone to call Lila. Oh, I forgot I could do that. I forgot about that. I think I did that. And, um, I think I saw somebody do that before. Use the um, the demo. I mean, not the demo. Um, use the phone to call Lila because you couldn't use yours. You gained Chris's trust and got. Oh, I know. You didn't gain Chris's trust. You chose to protect Daniel's secret and told him to be careful. You don't. You didn't listen to Cassie's song until the end. I mean, I couldn't. That's like copyright, isn't it? You didn't draw for Chris. All right. You you stole a Christmas present for Daniel. You found several Christmas presents for Daniel. I would have, but I didn't have enough. You didn't get involved in Chris in Charles's problems. You let Daniel use his powers to help Stephanie, who wasn't hers. The cop chased you and Chris wasn't hit by a car. Oh, the cop chased you and Chris was hit by a car, so Daniel could have done nothing. The cop didn't chase you and Chris helped you escape. How do you do that, is my question. How do you do that? Because they could have ran. How could the, how would the cop not have chased them? Please, I would love some, an answer. Daniel continued to swear. Yeah, I was okay with it. I was okay with it. Daniel won the dice game without cheating. He did? I thought he cheated. Okay, maybe it's because I, I decided to quit. Daniel killed the cougar. Yeah. Daniel was able to bury Mushroom properly. Daniel agreed to pray. Daniel tidied the room. Daniel wasn't asked to tell the truth to Chris. Overall, Daniel was encouraged to use his power. Oh, so... Daniel wouldn't have saved um, Chris if I didn't make him do it. That's actually kind of cool. If I didn't make him do it, he wouldn't have decided. I mean, if, if I told him not to use his powers, he probably wouldn't have decided to use it to save Chris. So Chris probably, well, that probably explains why Chris would have got hit by the car. Because Chris would have, I mean, he, he would have been too scared to use his powers that I told him not to. Because I told him not to. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to fix my fix my screen. Because I, if I told him not to, Chris probably would have got hit by the car because he did completely nothing. Uh, I'm trying to read the other option, guys, but my screen on my television is acting all messed up. You guys probably can't see it, but I can. My PlayStation is just acting all weird with this HDMI. Bruh. Give me a minute. Overall, Daniel wasn't encouraged to use power. Daniel used his power to save Chris from the car. Daniel didn't have to save Chris. Daniel didn't use his power to save Chris from the car. Daniel didn't blame anyone since Chris was fine. Daniel blamed himself for Chris's accident. Daniel blamed you for Chris's accident. So there could have been multiple things, but he blames no one because Chris didn't get into an accident. Daniel enjoyed his early Christmas presents. Daniel was too upset to enjoy his presents. Oh, that would happen if he got hit by the car, right? You know what happened? He didn't. You know why? Because I saved it. Okay, I'm trying to see. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to f get my screen fixed.
Daniel Joy's early Christmas presents. That's it. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. I'll show you around. Alright, I got it. I had to put something on top of it. Alright, guys. That's it. So I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment down below if you guys want me to continue with the series. And I will see you in the next one.